What's up everyone, welcome back to IT Security Labs and today we are completing the advent of the cyber from 2021 Try Hack Me. We'll be completing all 25 videos in this series and today is day one where we'll be answering a few questions and as you can see here we do have the challenge posted. I encourage you to read everything. I'm not going to bore you by reading through things that you can read. But we're just going to go through the challenge very quickly. This is more for the uh, IDOR. And what is the IDOR vulnerability? This is this stands for Insecure Direct Object Re Reference. And this is a reference on any website or web application. And there's a few ways that it comes through. And I encourage you to read uh, what it says here. Uh, there's ways you can find it. And how do you find it? You can change the parameter like the ID parameter in this case here. There are ways to fuzz for these vulnerabilities, so I hope I'll be making more videos to show you how this works. But with insecure direct object uh, reference here, uh, usually you look in the URL, whether it's referencing something directly on the server itself. So this is where a user through a web application can interact directly with things that are in the database of a website, uh, either by passing a parameter here or uh, even looking for static files so if you know files that exist like log files or a file that you know exists on the application you can do the same and at the same time uh here it talks about even in the post request if you analyze the request within our uh, burp suite you'll be able to check to see if you have that vulnerability there you also can see that in cookies which is really exciting using burp suite um and there's been people who made money from this vulnerability. So that's what we'll be using today. Uh, it looks like someone has messed with our website. So I clicked on uh, check the website. And the website has builds, uh, inventory, then uh, the activity. Uh, looks like somebody messed with this website here, according to the storyline. So we need to fix that. And it says to go through the website and identify the Grinch, someone who messed up the website. So if you go to your activity, you see the user ID is 11. According to this insecure uh, vulnerability, inse insecure direct object reference, we can actually uh, try to change the numbers here. It says to change from 1 to 20. So if we say 1 and hit enter, number 1 is Santa. So it, our first question is, says, after finding Santa account, what is their position in the company? You can see right here the position is specified. Then after finding uh, Max Tokas account, what is their position in the company? Uh, so you can one, two, two is nothing, three. There are ways you can do this with um, Burp Suite, which is easier, uh, but now we do it manually. So their position in the company, you see it right here. After finding the account responsible for tempering, what is their position in the company? Uh, let's see, is it nine? Yes. So what is their position in the company? Right here. Then, uh, it says we need to revert the changes that the, this person has made. So click the revert button multiple times here. Revert, 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 revert. And we get the flag. So we put the flag here. Then it says if you want to learn more about uh, insecure direct object reference, we suggest this room here. So I think that's next. I'll be making a video of this room so we can even practice more. But for now, that was our first day of advent of the cyber. Very easy, but this gets really hard as things go on. So thanks for joining me in this journey. And if you like hands-on learning, no BS, this is definitely the platform for you. And please like and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Thanks.